We need to start by drawing out one methyl cyclohexonene, six carbons in a ring, with an alkene functional group between the first and the second, then a methyl group on the first carbon. I've drawn the skeletal formula rather than the full displayed formula so that we can focus on the functional group rather than the rest of the molecule. We're going to add Cl2 across the alkene double bond, so this will be an electrophilic addition because the chlorine molecule will have an induced dipole caused by the high electron density in the carbon-carbon double bond. The nearest chlorine atom will become delta positive. The pi bonding electrons from the alkene are donated to the delta positive chlorine to form a covalent bond. As this happens, the chlorine chlorine bond breaks heterolytically, with the bonding pair ending up on the delta negative chlorine to form a chloride ion. So now we have an intermediate carbocation with a positive charge on the carbon that has three bonds and a negatively charged chloride ion which is attracted to it and can donate a lone pair to form a covalent bond to this carbon. The result is 1,2-dichloro-1-methylcyclohexane. The mechanism is the same when hydrogen chloride reacts with an alkene. The HCl bond is already polar, with the hydrogen atom delta positive, so this is added to the alkene first as the pi bond breaks. The hydrogen could get added to either of the two carbons of the alkene, with the chlorine subsequently bonding to the other one, so we have two possible isomeric products, so long as the alkene is unsymmetrical, which is the case with one methyl cyclohexonene.